Hello, it's me, Sammy, and I am back with another tip voice tutorial, and this one is on Adobe After Effects, and this is layer styles. I will be showing you how to get something similar to this, or maybe a little different, with layer styles in Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to hit Control N, and this will make a new comp. Or else you can just do file, and you then create the new comp. Under composition, and then new layer, composition. But control N is the faster shortcut. So hit OK. And now I'm going to take the pen tool, and I'm going to type I, it, Y, it. Oh, just like I did in the last screen. To use layer styles, you just go to layer, layer styles, and you have a list. The white ones are all the ones you can use, so you can show all of them. Like if you have them selected underneath and you just want to see them, you can. And then you have remove all if you want to get rid of the styles. And then you have your list like you do in Photoshop, your drop shadow to your stroke everything you use. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select gradient overlay since it's I guess the best for this tutorial. Now I'm going to hit colors, edit gradient, and then I'm going to click on this color stop. And I'm going to pick a dark, dark red. And then this one, I'm going to do a lighter red. I'm going to actually make this quite darker by going down there. And all, you have all your options here, like you would in Photoshop. I'm, get, I'm not even, I can't make that bigger. Um, but like in Photoshop, you have your blend mode, you have your opacity, you have your angle, which I don't see why you need for this. But you also have your type of gradients, your linear, your radial, angle, reflect, and diamond. You can reverse it, so if I wanted. You could also reverse it in the edit gradient by just taking this and moving it over there, and then like so. Or else, if you don't want to do that, you can just hit reverse, and then it'll just immediately reverse it. And then you can also align with layer, or scale, just like Photoshop, so you don't need to worry about that. So, and then you can go to layers, layer styles again, and now we're going to add a stroke. And you can just play with it, just till you find something that fits you. <laughs> just watching me play but um it's just simple and it's easier than having this blank text you could also change the color by going fill here but you also have your color overlay and just why not use layer styles mm -hmm, layer styles oh man i have barely used them but you know they work. They work well. There we go. And now you have this cool little thing right here that you made with layer styles that you couldn't do in Photoshop. I mean, in Sony Vegas or any other program. I think. I don't know. But you could. So you don't have to uh, transport from Photoshop to After Effects. You can just make them in After Effects so you don't don't have more than one program open and you don't have to just keep transferring over and over and over. And it's just a simple way to have decorative text. And if you don't have uh, After Effects and don't have Photoshop, it could also be helpful too. Well, I hope this helped and I hope I wasn't rambling and I'm not annoying and I really do hope this helps. So, bye.